Okay, the second question of conversation involves distinguishable items, this time people. In how many ways can five people be arranged for a photograph if two particular persons insist on standing next to each other? That's the first part. Second one, if two particular persons must not stand next to each other or insist on not standing next to each other. How do we go about questions like this? For the first part, remember we have five people and two insist on standing next to each other. We can handle this this way without these two persons. Without these two persons, the other three can be arranged in three factorial ways. So I would want to illustrate this by assuming the five people are A, B, C, D to help us understand better and two insist on standing next to each other. So I have to arrange A, B, C in three factorial ways. If these two must come together, if D, E must stand together, they can be here, they can be here, they can be here, or here. The two coming together can be placed in four ways. Do not forget times two factorial. The reason for this is that for any position they take, example, if I place DE here, you can have DE or you also have ED. So there are two factorial ways. If they stand here, they can also interchange their positions. If they stand here together, anyone can come first. If they stand here, anyone can come first. So we have times two factorial. Four ways, the different positions they can stand together, times two factorial. So the total number of ways of arranging five people, if to insist on standing next to each other, is three factorial times four times two factorial. This is six times four times two, and that gives us 48 ways. We have 48 ways of arranging five people if two of them insist on standing next to each other. We take B part of the question. I am sure this is clear because we shall use the same idea here for B. What if these two individuals insist on not standing next to each other? We still proceed without these two, without these two persons. The other three, the other three can be arranged in three factorial ways. Now, we make the assumption that these are the three left. The first person, since they will not come together, the first person can be arranged, please let's Look at this. Since two persons must not stand together, the first person can take this position or this position or this position or this position. Four ways. The second, the second person can take, if the first person chooses here, then the second person can be here or here or here three ways. So the total is 3 factorial times 4 times 3. This is 6 times 12 and that gives us 72 ways. So we have 72 ways of arranging 5 people for a group photograph if 2 of them must not stand together. That handles Questions on 
distinguishable items and arrangement of indistinguishable items. We don't need to divide by two because these are human beings, they can be repeated. All right, we take another example, circular permutation. Circular permutation. Five people are to be seated in a round table for dinner. In how many ways can this be done if there is no restriction? B, two particular persons must sit together. C, two particular persons must not sit together. Remember, it's a circular arrangement, round table. If there is no restriction, that means anybody can sit anywhere. But we have to understand for that for a circular arrangement, the number of ways of arranging items in a circular form, if I have n items, then they can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial if they will be fixed in a circle. n minus 1 because one person will be fixed so that others will surround him. Therefore, in A, I have n as 5. The number of people to be seated in a round table is 5. One of them would have to be fixed or can be fixed any one of them. That is the meaning of without restriction. Anyone can be anywhere. So that total number of ways of arranging five people in a circular form is five minus one factorial. That will give us four factorial and it is 24 ways. In the second part, we have a condition attached to the circular permutation. In how many ways can five people be seated in a round table for dinner if two particular persons, if two particular persons must sit together? We can still do this the same way we handled a non circular permutation without these two people, without these two persons. We have three left. The other three can be arranged in a circle, arranged in circular form in 3 minus 1 factorial. That is 2 factorial. Such that, we continue from here, such that if I have the three people arranged in a circle of this form, for example, something like this, something like this, the two persons can be placed in, they can be here, two of them can be here, you can have BE here, you can have BE, you can have BE, they can be placed in three ways. Then, total is 2 factorial times 3 ways times 2 factorial. Please, the essence of this is that for any position they take, you can have DE or AD. They are still together. You can have DE or AD. You can have DE or ED. So that's the essence of this. At any of the three positions, they can be seated in two factorial ways. Total gives us 2 times 6, and that is 12 ways of arranging five people for dinner if two particular persons must sit together. C, we do it in a similar manner. Without the two persons, without the two persons, without these two persons, the other three can be arranged in 3 minus 1 factorial. That is in circular form. That gives us 2 factorial. They would not come together. So I have a case 
Here I have maybe A, B, C, and these two, two persons must not sit together. We take the first, bring the one after the other. The first person can be placed. The first person can be here, or here, or here. So the first person has three ways of getting fixed. The second person, the second person, if we assume the first person sits here, the second can only be here or here. We have two ways. So that total is two factorial times three times two. This gives us the same twelve ways. All right. That's conditional circular permutation. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>